hi welcome to my youtube channel so please before you continue to watch this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button by subscribing to my channel so today i'll be discussing on how to add multiple email accounts in outlook and setting one of those email accounts as your default mail so for example if i go to file and i go to accounts settings here you can see i only have one email account and that email account i cannot actually change or set it as my default because this email is already my default email so to add a new email account what you need to do is to go to file and go to account settings and here we're going to select new so i'm going to type the email address so we're going to search for an account which of course um if the account already configured on this in outlook so i'm going to say i'm going to add the following account which belongs to david at privacy.ict.pa so this this is an office 365 email account so just click next so here you can see i have the option to actually the advanced setup to actually select which um, accounts does this email account belongs to is it an office 365 outlook exchange google pop imap or exchange 2013 or earlier so this belongs to an office 365 you may probably want to add an hotmail account or an exchange account or even a google account or an account you actually purchase from a provider which may be an imap so i'm going to select the an office 365 account so it's going to ask me to actually enter my password so let me just enter my password and click sign in so i'm going to skip this for 14 days so i'm going to click ok so i'm going to skip, skip this again for 14 days So here you can see that we have added your account successfully. So you, you, you now have access to your organization's apps and services. So I'm going to click done. So it's accounts successfully added. So I'm going to click done. So I'm going to add a different account again. So this is going to be the third one. So this account is, let me just say open so click connect so it's as well also an office 365 account so click add so i'm being requested to provide my organization email address password i mean so click sign in i'm going to skip this for 14 days So you can see accounts successfully added. So just click done, and here we click close. So you can see right now I'm not seeing all the account, the two account I just added. So what I need to do is you know you need to click and um, close Outlook. Just wait for some seconds, and then restart Outlook again. So you can see Outlook is setting up a local copy of your mailbox. So the mailbox has we just added, which of course does not contain a lot of mails. So the mails are being set up. So here you can see right now we have the um, email of Kelvin, which is actually the default. We have that of David and we have that of Samuel. So if I go to file, account settings, and here you see right now um, Kelvin Johnson is actually the default mail. So I'm going to select um, this account as my default. I'm going to set this set as default. You can see that Samuel Johnson account has been moved to the first one, which is going to be my default email right now. So I'm going to click close. So I'm going to close this. So let me just open it, open it, open again. At look. So you can see we still have Kelvin Johnson there. So if I go back to file, I still trying to open. I'll just wait for some seconds. So when I go to file and I go to account settings, and here you can see that Samuel Johnson is still my account sent from this account by default. So if I can move actually move this to be the first one right now because you can see kelvin johnson but if i try to send an, a new email 
by default you can see that it's, it's just selecting Kelvin Johnson so I can decide to choose um, Samuel actually as my email and click um, test and just send an email to David at a so here we have actually I can as well select that of David as well Samuel or Kelvin Johnson you can see that Samuel is actually my first choice I'm sending email from so if I go to uh, the email of I can decide to move Samuel here as well let me just try to move this front and you can see we now have um, Kelvin Johnson as my second one so a test mail has been sent to Samuel to David so if I click David inbox here you can see David has just received an email from Samuel so I can decide as well to send an email from David as well let me just select David here or we can decide to select Kelvin Johnson or select email from the list so if we have access to other emails as well I can decide to just um, just use the email for example let me say I have sales at global manager at Prevay so you can decide to actually enter that email address if you have access to the email and the email has been added to your you can decide to add that email or if you are a member of this email address you'll be able to send email on, beha on behalf of this mail but if you are not a member of this email address or you are, don't, you are not authorized to send email from this email then you will receive a failure that the mail was not sent successfully so that is how you actually send, uh, you actually um, add multiple email account to Outlook and set one of those email as your default mail. So let me actually show you again how you can actually do the same by adding an extra email account or by um, actually changing the default email um, account in Outlook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my control panel go to control panel and here I have changed my um, view by to large icons mostly you see your view by is actually in category so I've changed my to view by large large icons and I'm going to just search for my mail as the mail Microsoft Outlook 2016 so just click on that and here we can see we have our email account data we have our profile so when I click show profile and you can see I only have one profile which I'm using right now so you can add multiple profile as well but when you click on the properties so it's going to take you to your email account and if I click email account you can see it's going to take me to my account settings so from my account settings right now you can see that Samuel is my default I can decide to change it to David um, David to be using my default email account so let me just close this close and okay so that's how you actually um, add multiple email accounts and set one of those email to be your default email account. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. My name is Kelvin Johnson and please if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to actually like this video and leave a comment and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and encourage me to create more video for taking my time to create content like this. So see you next time and... Goodbye.